Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. I'm gonna bring you to some sand scammers just because you're being a dick. Fight each other! Don't unify and attack me together! Hey! <laughs> so you get. Uh oh. Skittles, no! Making our way through the desert. Skittles on my back. This guy's got a throne. This must be the big cheese mo himself. So I just wander into this guy's throne room and he straight up asks me to go find a tower with a skeleton wizard in it to get an elixir of godly powers. He asks me like this is nothing. I'm just a random stranger. <laughs> what? What is happening? What in the hell is that? Why are you guys bullying Terran? <laughs> it's like a high school bully just following me. Can you stop? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. He's actually attacking him now. Not cool. What's with this guy just Naruto running around? Does someone need to carry Skittles? Oh! Did I just hit my own guy? I did, I hit him in the ass. Son of a bitch! You shot me in the ass! Starting to think this tower doesn't exist. That guy was just screwing with me. Why did I have to fight that one? Nope, oh, turn around. He saw my big balls and said, nah, I don't want any of that. The three of us will check the upstairs. Wow. Very interesting stuff. Glad I came here. Oh my lord, there's so many of these fucking crabs. No. Why are you like this, Kenshi? And there's no tower here. Who is this? Well, I can't talk to him, so his only purpose in life is to be beaten to death for a bounty. Don't worry about me, I'm just casually surrounding you. Nothing to be alarmed about. Gut. That sounds like a fun place. It's like guts. He's a fun guy. No! I'm just trying to cook my fucking food. I'm just gonna do the old back and forth. He's got a long reach. Oh my god, we got him. Skittles took him out! Like a boss! Come on, Barbie, let's go party! Ha ha ha, yeah! Come on, Barbie, let's go party! Whoa! Whoa! Grass pirate? Yeah, you stay in your lane, vegans. Who wants to join my group? I have very low standards and will take pretty much anyone that has most of their limbs. 3,000. You're in. Any powers you want to tell us about? I don't, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. You look like a man in your thing. I thought you were a guy with long hair. You got a manly face. We're going to rain. Oof. I want to get down here to this place that looks like, you know, Dragons live or something. This guy has got a lot of health. Look at this beast. What kind of drops does this thing have? Eight skin, that's it? Oh my, that was not worth it at all. He didn't even have meat. Did he lose an arm? Is that another gorilla? I'm gonna need you to stay far away from my personal space. Half our team is still grievously injured from the last encounter. Sushi and Hammerhead, go check this out. Fuck! Oh no! Oh fuck! Thankfully this thing's very slow. It's like the one animal I can outrun in this game. Wait, what? This is an acid pool? God damn it! I gotta go have someone go get him out of there. Don't put her down back in there, no! Oh fuck! Why is everything bad happening? Sushi is gonna be out for a long time. That acid messed him up big time. He has burn ward levels of injured. Really hope I don't get jumped because most of my group is being carried or is missing limbs. These gorillas are relentless. What did I do to deserve this? We are all going to run for the acid pits and hopefully it doesn't swim after us. It is swimming after us. And he got knocked out in the acid pit. That's great. That is perfect. Are you kidding me? King Gorilla. Yeah, uh, everyone run. 
So both of my pack mules, which have all my shit on them, and Skittles, of course, the most important one of all, are all unconscious right next to this king gorilla. I need to come up with a uh, rescue strategy here. And not to mention, I have to swim across acid to get to this in the first place. So I have to swim across acid, grab them, run without getting beaten to death, and then get back across the acid. Easy peasy. I don't think I can get out this doorway. Well, if that's the case, that makes this significantly easier because I can just pick them up and then run out the doorway. Ooh. Oh, we can't get out the doorway. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ah. <gasps> no. Oh, my God. There's a lot of them. Where's that gorilla? Why is he way over there? The one time I need him in the middle, he's way over there. What the fuck? This is spiraling out of control at an astonishing rate. Most of my group is unconscious. Some of them are even in the acid. Where's Jimbo? You're gonna be my savior, Jimbo. Did you just drop her in the acid? This is how Patch is gonna go out, huh? In an acid pool? Because Jimbo tossed her over the fucking side! So literally all that's left out of the entire group is Skittles the dog. He is the sole survivor. He is the dog meat of this game. Skittles made it to the Ashlands all by himself. There's a robot dog guarding it. He looks slightly bigger than Skittles over here. We're just gonna slip between these patrols. Unfortunately, I spoiled Skittles by carrying him most of the time, so now he's uh, out of shape and fat little dog. What is in here? <laughs> Skittles is sorry. No! He's faster than Skittles! No! Not like this! I've finally taken the time to make my own base. And now I can train with training dummies. Just imagine that there's Eye of the Tiger playing. Once you actually start making a base, this game turns into Farmville. Or maybe like a Harvest Moon with murderers. Stardew Valley with slaves. Animal Crossing with torture. What the fuck is this? My first bandit attack. And they're just gonna... Decimate me. This is a lot of bandits. This is not worth having at all. I'd like you guys to leave so I can stop playing dead. They're just perpetually gonna stay here forever, huh? Running back and forth between my two buildings. As if the first bandit attack wasn't enough. Another gang of bandits comes in. So this is how this group ends? By bandits just being stuck in my base? Something tells me that there's going to be monsters in here. And it's got the twangy banjo music like someone's gonna tell me to squeal like a pig one swamp ninja versus the lot of you how's this gonna play out oof we already lost flick oh but fat jim got him skeletor attack is fat jim gonna be my best character here he's looking that way look at him go fat jim is just an animal uh in the middle of that fight Part of my group just got kidnapped by what appears to be robots wearing human flesh. So that's not a good sign. Uh-oh. Okay. So we've been captured by robots, and now they're using machines to remove our skin. So that's unfortunate. I wrote a blog post a while ago about why I f***ing hate video games. Because this is what it does, it appeals to like the male fantasy. Oh, limbs are starting to come off. This is a very slow process being skinned alive. There goes her all over skin. Now they're taking her skinned torso just to hang out at the campfire. As, as one does, of course. Hmm, gotta say, things could be going better. Why are you skinning Sir Harrington Maxfield IV? He's, he doesn't even have human skin. He's got 
shack skin. It's all hard and scaly. What are you going to do with that? Are you going to make a nice handbag out of it? Uh, skin bandits. That, that name, while apt, kind of doesn't really convey the level of Ed Gein horror show that's going on down here. Sonya and Spike snuck away, but the acid rain knocked them back out again. And, of course, the skin bandits found them. So, that's great. Two more gone. All we got left is... Oh, no! <laughs> Not Barbar Jinx! Ah! Oh! All that's left is Blender. And they're not going to take him because he's a skeleton. Oh, no. All the machines are taken, so... They, they can't figure out what to do with Barbar Jinx. Everyone's just taking turns picking him up and throwing him in the dirt. Like... <laughs> this is the best torture they can come up with in, in the meantime. Again, they feel the need to chill with my... Oh my god, that is still on there. Another, another party down the drain. Probably the most brutal way I've lost a party. All of them uh, skinned alive. 